Hey, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to the final part of Shipwreck Ithaca. So uh, last time, let's uh, let, well, let's just have a coin count now because last time I forgot to do any kind of coin counting. So I hope they add up. Yes, they do. Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased that they do. So at this point, you should have 101. Okay. So uh, we did a few things last time. We opened a door up on the deck. And we opened the door down here in the pool. Whoops. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It wasn't a bad jump. <laughs> okay, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to swim in to trigger a shark. And then come back out again. So it might take a while, or it might be right behind you. Usually it does take a while for him to come out. But he is on the way. I'm not sure if I actually swam far enough into there, actually. Do I need to go bait him? Last time I went to go bait him, he was right there. Like, oh, whoops. I'm just being impatient. Okay, I'm gonna bait him. Okay, I'm definitely far enough inside that time. There he is, okay. Okay, no Lara for you today. Right, so we've got a bit of a maze here. I'll try and make some maps <laughs> to put on screen so you can see what's what here. So um, this is where I can't remember if there's any items <laughs> in this area. It's terrible of me. So there's only the one opening just here for air. So bear that in mind. So uh, yeah, confirmed. There's no items on this level. So there's a few levels. So I ran by, well I swam by, <laughs> two openings. So I'm gonna go for this right hand opening. I've not mapped this one because all it is is this tiny section with two coins. So yeah, I will make a map and I hope it looks okay. I'm gonna try my best to make a map. Okay, and then back for air. Okay, so now the left hand opening, which is the largest area, so that's why it's a bit confusing. And when you're limited by breath as well, that's annoying. Straight ahead there is a coin. Okay, come round. There's actually an opening to the left there. I'll keep coming round. There's some oozy clips. And again, I'm gonna go back for some air. So the situation makes you very anxious when there's only one space to get air. Okay, and again, back down we go. So I'm gonna go through the opening this time. Okay, go straight, and we're gonna grab a key. Okay, this is the lifeboat key. So before I go back for air, there's another passage. I'm going to quickly grab a coin and then we are done. It's going to be tight. Will I make it? Nice. Okie dokie. 
So now we can return back to the deck. Let me check what coins I, ha uh, what keys I have. So I just picked up the lifeboat key, and way back earlier, I picked up the simple key. Let me. Where did I pick this up? Yeah, I picked this up pretty close to the start of the previous video. So the start of the video, really. It was in one of the rooms with the sharks, where I was trying to kill the sharks before I went in the rooms. So I probably should have mentioned what kind of key it was. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna jump over to here and come into these caves before I go through the new opened door. So there is a gunman in here and I know it's very dark down in the caves here, but I'm gonna just shoot the guy when Lara aims. Okay, there we go. Whoops. So there's a left and a right path. The right is the return path. So come to the left, we have these shotgun shells by the wall. And then come straight down over to here. And this is where we will use the simple key. Okay, so if we've got to look around, if we have a look around, we have a lot of jumping to do. It's a long way down. And to the left, there's a timed tile. So this timer does two things. It opens up a room so that we can get a secret sapphire, so that's up over that way. And it opens a door just down on the wall on the right. So first, I'm going to go get the sapphire. So these jumps can be pretty tricky, mostly because we're rushed by the timer. Okay, so the timer starts when you hop off, so I'll probably fail the first few times because I can never remember the sequence. But basically, we're going around, there is a flame there, but you know, just hop off there and jump up to the gap, and then head in that way. So when you're ready... Oh no. Oh, so you can stand on the corners. Come on, hurry up. Oh, oh I'm on fire. Okay, that was a pretty failed run anyway. Okay, that was a bit better. <laughs> so at the corner, hop over the block. Wait for the flame. Come on, flame. Okay. And then round into this room. If you do slow, the door will drop down and seal off the secret sapphire. So now we've got to do the timer again to get into the doorway. You can't see it from here. And I kind of feel that this one's a little trickier. So this one is a slightly different sequence of jumps. So from the first flame, you want to slide backwards on that slope and drop to the next slope. Okay. So these jumps, it really is difficult for me to be speaking. Okay, run forward to there. <laughs> okay.
got it in one. Okay. And you actually heard the door close for the secret as well. <laughs> so this is the bilge key. And just drop down. We will take a little bit of damage. Got a coin. And now we've got a couple of gunmen. One of them is very tricky. Oh. One of them is up there. Okay, I actually got him. And I only wasted one shot. Okay. <laughs> so that was pretty smooth, actually. So that gunman that's up the top here can be pretty tricky to get. So now we're just making our way up and out of this room. Now we've picked up the bilge key. So these jumps are simple enough, you know, go to the ladder, you know, drop to here. <laughs> okay, got a coin, don't forget the coin. And then, slide down, jump and grab. Oh, I thought I jumped too soon, but it's fine. Okay, over to here, and this is where the gunman was standing. Got a med pack. Okay, now just over here. So careful when doing a side jump like that. You don't want to be angled in the wrong direction and just completely miss. So I always tend to jump instead of just dropping down and shimmying. It's just a bit quicker. Okay, and here we go, push the button, and we can leave, so we're back in the cave. So this is where the gunman was, if you didn't kill him the first time, you wanna kill him this time. Oh, darn slopes. Slopes. Okay, so there is a coin in the far corner, which I always forget about when I come into this area. Okay, back through this way, and now I'm going to head through the doorway that I opened earlier at the pool. So that's just here. As I said earlier, this is really easy to miss. So I'm getting a, a hardcore weapon, I think. Do it this way. So you want to head to the right, as I did, uh, to shoot the gunman. Then I think I'm going to swap to my wheezies. Mix things up a bit. Okay, so the gunman there drops a coin. So in this room, in this sort of area section, there's a lot of doorways. Like, if I don't open a door, that means there's nothing behind it. So come into this chapel room. There is a coin up on the stage section. Okay. And then I'm just going to head over to this corner, there's some shotgun shells. And next I'm going to swap back to the revolver. And just to shoot that guy. And all the way along to the end into this crate room or block room whatever you want to call it 
So I'm just going to climb up a couple because we've got some items. So we've got a small med pack here and then a coin over the way just here. Okay. And now I want to move a block around. We've got a puzzle to do with a block. So there is a button behind me. You probably just saw that. That's just behind me on the wall. And we've got two openings here. So they alternate which one is open. We want to get the block down there. So you've got to find the only block <laughs> that can be interacted with. And that is this one. So this is a very long-winded puzzle. Oh, I went too far. I overshot. <laughs> Okay, and we can't actually hop over that movable block for some reason, so come around. Oh, mine, <laughs> mine the hole. Oh. Okay, and then we're going to bring the block onto the raised tile section. Oh. Okay, so just pull it onto here. So as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it, <laughs> the button on the wall uh, like alternates, lowers and raises these sections, but I'm not gonna press that button on the wall. So come inside the open gap and there's a button here. So this one also does the same thing. So you've got to figure out which button you need to press. And you can see where we're going to put this tile, uh, this block. We've got this blatant odd tile right next to me. So now just pull the block along. This bit gets even more long-winded. <laughs> Very tedious. Okay, pull that. And then uh, press the button. I always mess this up. <laughs> Yep, doing good. Okay, so we can get out of here. And then push this button. Are we pushing that button? Oh, Lara Croft. Okay, down to this gap. Push the block along. Okay, back up, push this button. Down the gap. <laughs> and pull the block onto the odd tile. Okay, we have done it. So now you do want to press the button again because we want to get onto the other side of that block. Okay, so all that faff opened up this door. And we've got this super sneaky dining room. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so we've got a couple of items in here. Shoot this bench I managed to shoot the bench in the distance by that failed shot but okay uh, we've got a steward key and in this last bench that we actually did want to shoot is a coin so now we've got that we can leave
Okay, so out we come. Just mind you don't fall down. I'm sure it won't kill you, but you'll take some damage. And next, what am I doing? Let me think. Okay, next. I'm coming up this way. So you could come up this way before, but we needed a key, so I just didn't bother having a look up here. So let's uh, let's get exciting. Let's have some explosive action. So we've got a, a guy with a gun. Okay. And this is where we need the steward key. Oh no, we need the bilge key, my bad. So you could come up here. So inside here is just a button. Okay, so we don't exactly know where that is right now, but we've opened up a path for later on. So I will point that out when we get there. So remind me to point it out when we get there. <laughs> so arrows that I've just picked up and there will be a couple of guys in here. Okay, one wrenchman, one gunman. And we only did that just to grab this med pack. Mindless violence. Ain't nothing like it. Okay, so now we can return back down the stairs. So come down this way and then this way so I'm probably confusing yet so this is the doorway that I originally came through through excuse me I said through uh, so this is the hidden one by the columns in between the columns so come along this away and let me save my game in case I make a silly mistake because I don't want to be doing all that block puzzle nonsense again okay <laughs> So this is the door that I just opened. Okay, so what weapon shall I use? Hmm, let's try the shotgun, actually. I've got plenty of ammo. So there's a gunman and a wrenchman. Okay, so there is a coin. I believe the gunman dropped this one. So we've actually got a few coins in this area. So here's another one. And another one. Okay, so that is it. So we can come here and use the steward key. Okay, and when I step onto the next tile, we will spawn a wrenchman behind me. And also, I'm going to get shot at <laughs> by quite a few gunmen. So I'm going to do my best to get out of the way there. There we go. They didn't even try shooting me. Okay, now I'm switching to revolver because there's actually quite a few gunmen. Okay, th so there's one on the upper level there and then one on the level below. There he is. Oh, got him. Wasted a couple of shots. And there is one on the very lowest level. There's like three tiers to this room. So he can shoot you very easily, which is kind of harsh. So while I'm up here, let me point out there's a doorway over there that needs a key. And down on this lower level below me, just on the left-hand side of the screen, you kind of see a little tree. 
I don't know, a little, a little plant just there. So there's a doorway we can open there for a secret. And for now, I'm going to jump across. Because I'm going to head downward and try and deal with that last guy. Got him. Okay. So the gunman that was on this level dropped these Uzi clips. Okay, and to the lowest level, there's a coin somewhere. There it is. And before I do anything else, I'm going to open the door to the secret. So, do not go in the water. That's kind of dangerous. You see, in the water, there's actually two benches. There's actually four benches, but you can only see two at a time. So we need to shoot all the benches. And there was a note in the files of the game that said that if you use explosive arrows here, the door probably won't open. So I'm actually going to use uh, some normal arrows. Let me separate the laser sight, put it on the crossbow, and I'm going to just use some some plain old crossbow ammo to shoot these benches. Ooh. Okay, now run around to the other side. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Excuse me. There we go. So that door should now be open, so I'm going to make my way back up. So let me just double check my sapphires. Okay, cool. I have three, so this will be the fourth and final sapphire. So, as you see, there was a block that I used to get back up. Round we come, just... you do have to actually drop down to this level. The door is open. And here is the last sapphire. So now I'm actually going to go back and collect the secrets. So we do have a little bit of backtracking. It's not actually all that far. So to get back, we actually do need to drop down and then go back around again. Okay, hop the gap. Back this away. So as I've said, it's really not all that far. It kind of seems like it because we've done a lot of work in this level. Ooh. Okay, so back to the deck. Mind the holes in the deck. Ooh. And it's this doorway here. So there we go, straight ahead is the secrets room. So I do have to just swap these doors over. Okay, so back into the water. Okay, back we go. Oh.
Okay, and again, we can grab all the secrets. I'm surprised the door is open just there to the um, the hint. Because uh, I mucked up. Because <laughs> I, I died and then I had to redo everything. And I realised I forgot to grab this secret. I just went to use the next sapphire. Um, yeah, and I... The door wouldn't open for me. I don't know whether I missed a tile or stood on a wrong tile or stood on the same tile twice. I don't know what it was that stopped the door opening to the fish hint. I don't know. But at least it was open as I ran by. Okay, I have all the secrets. Now I just gotta rush back to where I was. So yeah, I have to swap the doors again. Okay, here I am. I'm back. So now I want to be on the lowest level. Okay, so there is a door we can open up. Okay, and the next door. And I'm just gonna have some fun with my... Oh no! I was gonna say explosive arrows, but I have the wrong arrows! There we go. That's for hitting the lady. You don't hit a lady. Right. <laughs> so, don't fall in the... Uh, water? Yeah, whatever it is, don't fall in it. So we're just making our way over to that room. So we do have some precarious jumps, do be careful. You can do a running jump along the diagonal. And I'm just going to wait here for a moment because there is a guy with a gun that will come around. Here he is. Okay. Got this coin. And here is a lever. So that's opened a door past the room that I pointed out that we need the key for. You probably forgot which door I mean. It's fine. <laughs> we'll head there in a moment. So this rope here is optional. It's just for some items. You can easily jump back the same way that I came. But I'm gonna grab some more goodies. Okay, so this jump can be pretty tricky because a lot of the time ropes do veer you to one side, so that's pretty annoying. So usual climbing up to steady the rope. Okay, and you actually need to be pretty much on the line of the uh, the tile spaces, the next tiles along. That's how much this rope throws you off to one side. So wish me luck, let's let's try and do this. So a lot of the time you get more momentum if you jump off a rope as it's starting to swing back. There is no logic in there, but that's something I've noticed. So I'm gonna jump off when it starts to swing back. Oh, I just missed. I actually wasn't to the left far enough.
There we go. That's a crazy, crazy jump. Okay, so we've got this button here, and I bet you can't guess what this does. I bet you were expecting this to open, weren't you? <laughs> okay, so back we come. So the block that raised is just there, and this can be tricky to get to. So if you do a jump, you can overshoot that. So running forward helps a lot, but sometimes you have to be at the right angle. I'm going to save. I know I just saved, but that rope is pretty tricky. So just try and run forward and you should have enough momentum to land on there. So nice. I can't believe I did that on the first go. Last time it took me a while. <laughs> so then we can hop to here and return back to the icky pool room. The pool is full of death water is my implication in case you were wondering what I was talking about. Okay, so now we're heading up to the door that's up there that needs a key. So I believe it's the steward key we're using in that. No, we already used the steward key. Lifeboat key. So we picked that up in the nicer pool room. I'm heading this way. <laughs> Remember where you're going, Izzy. Yeah, we go. Lifeboat key. And now I'm going to step things up a bit. I'm going to use some flash ammo grenades. So for this to actually work, you need to trigger the enemies. So this door here is the one I opened. So I need to step out here to trigger everyone. So when you see the wrench guy there, you can use that. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Oh, it did. That's good. And now I'm going to let rip with the Uzis. Okay, so even though there are a couple of guys behind this wall, they still have the effect from the flash grenade. Okay, how many coins are left? I believe it's just one. I hope it's just one. That is... Uh, just here. Let's check... Oh, stop. Oh my goodness. It kept cycling through. Okay, 119 coins. So that was the final coin that I just picked up. So I somehow managed to find an extra coin compared to what the guide said. And I haven't figured out which one it is. <laughs> but um, I believe that these are all the coins. So happy hunting if you want to go looking around for the coins. So... You may have guessed that that's the final coin, so this is the end of the game. Indeed it is. So just drop down. We got the nice music. <laughs> and hop onto the lifeboat. And that's the end of the game. Nice. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has definitely been a really good level editor. And I will see you in my next walkthrough. Take it easy, guys and girls.